Coming up next, a bright future for a Santa Cruz landmark. Our Channel 5 fast forward cam is on Pacific Avenue in Santa Cruz as day turns to night and now turned on for the first time in a generation. One of the most dazzling displays of neon on the West Coast transforms the street. I'm Tony Russomano and I'll have the story and the lights coming up. Well, it's practically a historic landmark in the city of Santa Cruz and it's coming back to life. Mm -hmm. Tony Russomano shows us how the bright ideas of a few people are giving a new face to an old favorite place. It's been dark for nearly a generation. Now it's time for light. The historic Del Mar Theater in downtown Santa Cruz is reopening as the grand movie palace it was designed to be, crowned by a neon sign regarded as one of the most elaborate on the West Coast. Then glass tubes of red, green, blue, and yellow electrically charged neon and helium gases fire off in animated sequences, controlled by a 50-year-old mechanical brain packed with gear-driven rotors and synchronized switches. You could run all this off a microchip, but who would want to? Other sounds come out of the sign during the day when the lights are off. That's Greg King working behind the marquee. He began restoring the old sign several months ago, seeing in his mind what it once was and could become again. I perceive this as being a landmark for Santa Cruz, a new landmark, a new old landmark. What he actually saw when he started work was ancient equipment, bent, hacksawed, twisted, left outdoors, submerged, and colonized. Pigeons had been living in the uh, marquee animator down here and all behind it. The sign and its controller date back to 1936 when the Del Mar was built. Today, the theater has been restored to its original big screen condition, decades after it was chopped up into a fourplex and run into disrepair by a national chain. We still can't believe this happened. It's a miracle. Chuck Volweiler spearheaded the $2 million project to restore the Del Mar in cooperation with the city and private developers, all of whom wanted to save the town's largest historic building. We love Santa Cruz, we love the Del Mar, and it's, it's as much of a um, project of, of uh, passion as it is a business decision. There's no doubting that, especially when you talk to Greg King. For all the kids and stuff that are going to see movies in this theater, um, it's definitely going to be an enchanting experience. To be associated with something like this, I mean, what can I say? 30 years from now, I'll be able to go by here and see this sign ablaze. It's been more than 12 years since the Loma Prieta earthquake destroyed another historic building in town. The Cooper House was the city's cultural heart. People here still miss it. Now the city may have another heart, pulsing of neon. In Santa Cruz, I'm Tony Russomano, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. That's amazing. Mm. Good to have it back. Yeah, it yeah. looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah.